Hey everyone, it's Austin and welcome back to your regularly scheduled programming, day 79 on my journey to 2000. I'll be playing at least one rapid game per day on chess.com, just trying to play chess every day, improve every day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord, and let's get into today's game. Alright, and into the 10 minute pool we go. Got the black pieces against the 1674. He plays d4. I play d5. We're going to have the Slav. Very rare that I get to play it. We have the exchange Slav. He hates his life. He hates having fun. He hates theoretical fun games. He'd much rather play stupid openings like this. Um, I'm going to close in my bishop. I don't even care. I need something to be asymmetrical in this position. Otherwise, I think I'm going to blow my freaking brains out. I need to come up with a good weapon against the semi or against the exchange slav because I mean honestly this is pitiful. So boring, yawn yawn yawn. I mean in this position I probably had this move to be honest. Just not thinking. Take some squares away from the knight. Ooh, he likes to play games perfectly symmetrically. Fun guy. Super fun guy. Oh, give me a break with this. Does this actually work for anything? So taking is definitely the move. So please let us take... In which case, I think that um, I should do something. What do you guys think? Should I do something in this position or do nothing? I like the idea of hanging my queen in one move. Um, uh, I mean, I don't know anything about playing the exchange slav. I guess I'll just go here. I mean, it's a queen spawn. I should probably do this, right? Then he has this very nice outpost. Maybe I should go here first. Nope, because takes, 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 and we don't want that. How about this? Here, here. Here, here. Doesn't really do anything. I can go here. Oh, it also hangs this bishop. So let's just stop calculating. Isolated queen spawn. We blockade those. Oh, yuck, I didn't see that move. What about this, though? Ah, yes, my rook was hanging. Of course. Oh, my God. Why am I playing this game? Oh, my God, now he's just going to try to trade everything. What a freaking loser, dude. Plays the most boring opening in the entirety of chess. Gets the slightest advantage. Oh, goody. Time to trade everything. This is hanging, isn't it? This would have been a better move is what I'm hearing. And I'm literally just not thinking. It's all right. We have games like that. We have days like that. I was on a five-game tear to make 1700. So, hello. Hello. Why did my camera just turn off? I don't know why my camera's freaking out, guys. But this chess game is honestly more important at this exact moment. Let's make this move and then try to figure out my camera. Connect into my computer. Okay. Hey, we're back. You guys get to see my desk for a second. You like that? All right, all right. It's all right. My opponent needed the time advantage. Um, 
I don't like any intentions that you have over there, young man. Uh, I can do this, technically. Aww. Come on, I was actually threatening to have some fun with that pawn. Yikes. Um, let's just go here. I don't like that knight all up in my grill. Oh man, it's so close to that pawn hanging. It's so close. Um, I kind of want to go here, if here, here. But then my knight is eternally stuck, basically. Hating his life. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Decisions to make decisions. I'm just gonna do it. I know it's a bad move, but I'm already behind on the clock and I'm already down materials, so who cares? Okay. He wants to trade off his weakness. We, uh, we don't let him trade off his weakness, for sure. I kind of feel like this is the move now. Try to get my pieces active. Hmm. What comes with more of a threat? We play this move. Because why not? I'm the best. Oh my god. Trade off all the pieces. You're up in exchange. Uzbekistan. I'm sure he has some sort of something over here to like checkmate my king with where it is. I'm surprised he hasn't tried to play it. Bro, leave me alone. I'm gonna win your pawn. I'm gonna win your isolated queen's pawn. What are you gonna do about it? You better run away, young man. boy. Let's do this. Oopsies. Oopsies. And I mean this with every shred of disrespect that I can. That's what you get for playing like that. I mean, I'm sorry, but honestly, I'm not freaking sorry. People that play like that, it, it pisses me off so bad. Um, I mean, obviously, we're going to take the free pawn, so let's just do it. Let him take into me. Okay. I failed to see how that is a significant problem for me. I kind of just want to go here and push my past pawn. Bring my knight back over this direction to perhaps help the uh, help my king if he tries to get too froggy. Um, honestly, bro, I wish that you would take my, uh, take my knight. That sounds pretty good. So let's develop my bishop now. And now I can go here and threaten a massive exchange. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm.
So if I go here, if I go here, there's three pieces attacking and only two defending. So immediately I need to discount that move. So what I can do is go back and if he takes, I can take with my queen threatening the pawn. So let's just do that and let's not overreact here. I thought I blundered for a second. Did I blunder? <laughs> I mean, this is my only move, so there's... Well, I guess I had this, but not really, because then my queen would hang. Hmm. I can just move that pawn, no? <laughs> okay, so let's move it. Okay. So if I go here, 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 how is he checkmating me? He has this check and he has this check. Then I go here and he can play knight takes. Now when he plays knight takes and his queen is on either of those two squares, He's threatening checkmate on this square. So all of that is probably not worth it. What I should probably do is go for it anyway. I know that I want to make this trade, so let's start with that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't see how he's checkmating me. My king can move up, and even if there's a lot of checks, maybe I'm just missing it. Knight takes. So, he's again threatening checkmate on this square. I will be completely honest with you. I missed the idea that um, if I move my king up, that he has a discovered attack. Now the question is, he also has this pawn hanging. Hmm, that's, that's the bigger problem, I think. Okay. That's actually not checkmate. Okay. I don't have much time here. Let's go here. And I think uh, as long as I hang on to that pawn, I should be okay. So he's probably going to go king back. If I go here, then he goes queen here, here. No discoveries when my queen. I think this is the move. I don't really... I, I'm having... I'm so tired. I can't even calculate two moves ahead right now. But obviously the plan from here is to just kind of like consolidate my position. Maybe try to trade off a piece or two or something. And then... Um, push my past pawn. So here, 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 there, here, here doesn't work because of this. And then I'm promoting. 
So does he have anything else? I don't think he has anything else. Let's go here. I really have no time. I don't see how he stops the pawn. Maybe I'm missing something. He's probably going to try to like dirty flag me here. Just because that's what all my opponents do. But I mean, that's okay. I mean, if I get dirty flagged, I get dirty flagged. I feel happy that I'm good enough to have a completely winning position when I was down in exchange. He's going to try to dirty flag me here. I think I can go here to attack this pawn. Or he can just give it to me immediately. I'm like freaking out. He really tried to dirty flag me too. I, I hate this guy. I have no idea who he is. I freaking hate this guy, man. Like what a... What a freaking not cool dude, honestly. Like he tried so hard too. It's one thing to like try to dirty flag somebody when you're in a drawn position like last night or yesterday, two days ago, whenever it was. But it's like that felt so boring. So apparently this is one and I've completely equalized in this position. But yeah, that move is better. I did that out. Yeah, just kind of like doing nothing. Oh, so here. And what about takes? Then I just take and look. So he can't do that. He has to, what, push? Yeah, five. In which case, I would probably just play this. Which is a mistake because I'm the best. Knight h5 sidesteps the danger. This is still hanging. This is still hanging, and I'm completely winning. Bishop e3. No, no, no. Sorry, that was the wrong thing. Bishop e3. Awesome. Bishop e3. Thank you. Holy smokes. Um, it takes b2, and I'm just up a pawn. Threatening to be up two pawns. Nah, this can't be a mistake. Certainly not. Here. Still up a pawn. Yeah, that would be a big mistake by him. This move. He has a Greek gift on me. You kidding me? And now he wins back the knight. No, 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 sorry. Wait, what is the move? You have to come up to g6. Okay, this is stupid. I'm done analyzing this line. Anyway. Yeah, this was a blunder, obviously. I hung a freaking exchange because I'm the greatest player alive. There, he didn't take the pawn for some reason, which I felt was weird. Defended it. Um, H6 was huge for my defense for the entire game. Um, just trying to get some counterplay on the queen side. And he completely allowed it to the point where now I win an exchange. So what move did he have here? There, why is this better? Because the computer is going to sit here dead in the face and tell me that it would rather me play 
A takes B instead of that. Okay, but when I do this, this is the best move. Probably this, right? Still, I'm still all up. Oh yeah, the queen, duh. I thought the queen was looking at this square for some reason. But it all makes sense. I'm just up so many pawns here. Yeah, this was a mistake. Just being a little bit too silly. Being a silly, goofy guy. So if he took, I just thought queen takes. I didn't calculate this. Yeah, that's the best move. Still just like completely winning. It says minus one, but I... White has no play. I have a pass pawn. I feel like it's a lot better chances for black there. So we trade and that continuation. I knew in my heart that that was the best freaking continuation, dude, to go ahead and win that pawn. I kind of feel, okay, this is huge for me. I actually calculated that there was no way to stop the pawn. And I was right. And then I liked the way that I, this was a missed win because this is just mate in three, h1. Well. Okay, definitely didn't see that checkmate where you had to go back to c1. If here, what is, this is still checkmate because the knight covers that square, very pretty. Knight of three is an inaccuracy. So this was a miss, but I saw a checkmate my own way. And I still gave it to him. Down three minutes on the clock. That's how we do it around these Kiwi chess parts. I don't care if I'm down on time. Give me chances. I will still beat you. We take those. We're back up over 1700. And let me show you all something else. Let me show y'all something else. Not right this second, but I'm also getting my blitz up to the highest it's ever been. Yeah, you like that? Bullet? October 5th, highest it's ever been. We growing. We out here growing, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, I was really obnoxious tonight because I'm in a silly, goofy kind of guy mood. But thank you guys very much for watching. As always, hope you enjoyed the special video yesterday, how to play chess and learn. In any case, I will see you tomorrow.